I hope that all of you get into the colleges that you really want to get into. And of course, the colleges that are the best fits for you. It doesn't matter where you go, it's what you do that matters wherever you go. Wisdom with Sadhika. <laughs>
in which I got a 7 out of 7. So in 11th grade, my IB score was a 39 on 42. My ACT score was a 34. For subject stats, I took math level 2 and I got an 800. And then I took biology and I got a 750. So at the end of 11th grade, I had a 38 on 42. As for standardized testing, I took the SAT and I got a 1570. Firstly, I listed um, Saudi Paints, which is my art enterprise. It was something that I started in 10th grade where I made and sold paintings to raise money for this organization for disabled children. And it was something that I was really passionate about because it sort of united all of my interests, art, business, and economics. I got to do something that I loved. I got to get an insight into entrepreneurship and I got to serve the community all at the same time. The next most significant activity to me was the Knowledge of Wharton High School's investment competition. My friends and I, this includes Monsi, uh, we met every weekend from September through February to curate this investment portfolio for our virtual client. I loved my experience with KWHS because it gave me an insight into finance and actuarial science, which is something that I want to explore further in the future. And we even got to the national round, which is pretty awesome. We didn't go further from there, but it was a really fun experience. And apart from this, I did a lot of community service. I was part of the Rotary Interact Club. And I also ran for student council, so yeah. My first two activities were both internships, both in architecture firms. Um, the first one was six weeks in the summer between 10th grade and 11th grade, and the second one was four weeks between 11th grade and 12th grade. Um, and they were both at firms that were kind of centered around sustainability and eco-friendly design, um, which are topics that I talked about in some of my supplemental essays as well. Um, my third activity was a volunteer project with an NGO for blind people. I helped them develop a blind-friendly math textbook for the 3rd, 4th, and 7th grades, um, which we converted to Braille and I recorded as an audiobook for distribution. My fourth activity was a poetry book that my friend Sahana and I wrote, and I kind of used this one to bring out the whole diversity factor of my application. Uh, because the book was about our experiences living in Bangalore, India, I kind of talked about how I've been able to experience this new culture and how I can bring that with me to campus, so diversity something that colleges really love. As for my extracurriculars, I just tried to like pursue the activities that interested me the most and that I was the most passionate about. I think the one that I particularly enjoyed and that undoubtedly helped me the most in my application process was some research that I did over the summer after 11th grade with a professor at the California Institute of Technology in a field called biophysics. In this activity, I learned a bunch of new concepts in physics and mathematics which range from entropy to condensed matter theory to random matrix theory, and tried to apply them to the field of theoretical ecology. An extremely interesting field, but also a very niche field, which tries to apply very advanced mathematical concepts to ecology. In this internship, I worked 10 hour days for six weeks, and at the end of it, I got some interesting results. While I didn't really publish these, I did get a recommendation from the professor who I worked with, and I wrote a research abstract summarizing the work I did there, which I sent to a bunch of colleges. I really think this one helped a lot because A, my admissions officers emailed me with what they liked about my application and this was always at the top of their list. And B, I just had the most fun doing it. I put the most effort into it and I got the best result. Some of the other activities that I really enjoyed were model UN and debate, student council where I was the school captain, and robotics competitions. In addition, I really liked math, so I tried to pursue that interest through math competitions, and I took part in the AMC series of competitions. In addition, I did some work in quantum computation. It wasn't much, but I did learn a lot at the Center for Fundamental Research and Creative Education here in Bangalore. In addition, I tried to do some volunteering work within the field of science popularization, and I started an organization called Science and You. I know that's a corny name, but still which aimed to connect professional scientists with people in the general public and give them a platform to give talks and have events and meet people. For my extracurriculars, I did dance, vocal music, as well as piano all through high school. And I went for classes weekly and uh, went for a bunch of performances, competitions. And even if there were charity events, I'd go and perform there with my school for dance or for piano. I also played basketball in 9th and 10th grade and we went up to regionals. And I also volunteered at 
a government school that's near my house all through high school. So I tutored there for about two years and then I even helped with the administration department over summers. I'd help in the medical center. For my work experience, I interned at the Indian Institute of Science and over there I interned under a research project for neuroscience and I got to do that for about a month or two and um, also I interned at a hospital for oncology surgeries and I assisted in the OR or in like the um, ICU care and stuff like that. So for my extracurriculars, most of them revolved around economics and business because I knew pretty early on that that was what I wanted to do. So perhaps like my biggest extracurricular in high school was my book that I wrote and published and it was basically like a political economic commentary on the Indian elections. And so I spent a lot of time during high school researching and writing it and I really indicated that on my application. And so I also talked about how the book was kind of a catalyst to me discovering um, my passion for economics. Um, and so apart from the book though, I also did a lot of research. So I did an independent research paper on Brexit and its global currency impacts. I also attended a summer research program in my junior year where I um, wrote a research paper on the US China Trade War and I presented it in like an official capstone seminar. So those are kind of like my three um, main extracurriculars. I also um, made this app about the stock market and um, predicting the stock market fluctuations. And so I talked about that a little bit too. I wrote my Common App essay about my journey as an artist. And the title of my essay was I art, therefore I am. I'm mentioning it because I was hella proud of it. Sorry. <laughs> but anywho, I wrote about what art means to me, how I grew with it over time, and how through Saudi Paints, I was able to share my love for art with other people as well, and how overall, like, it's just something that's very meaningful to me and something that I'm very passionate about. My common app essay. I wrote my common app essay about Shrek. Somebody wants it was kind of a risk choosing a weird topic like that, and it took a lot of time and a lot of drafts to kind of make a common up essay material, but I think it was worth it. So I talked about how the movie kind of reflects the ideals that I live my life by and how I hopefully will continue to live by in the future. My common application essay was a lot of fun to write. Eventually, I realized that I could combine my love for fantasy writing, which I've been reading from a very young age, and science, which I've been interested in for just as long. How did I combine these topics? Well, it was through the concept of world building, where a fantasy writer builds up the rules and the societies and the systems by which their world works. In my opinion, uncovering the rules behind these worlds is just as exciting as uncovering the rules that nature has set up for us through science. And I was able to write about both of these passions intersecting and what I loved about both of them in order to tell admissions officers who I was and portray my curiosity. My common app was about my journey with piano. So I started off doing examinations and I went up to a higher level in piano. And then after that, I realized that that's not really what I wanted to do. So I decided to write about my journey and my realization and how that changed me as a pianist and also helped me develop particular characteristics as a person. As for my common app essay, I guess like the basic gist of it was um, about like my love for writing and how that really came about. So it kind of like starts off with this little story about how growing up I was like obsessed with big words, like and I would constantly try to learn these big complicated words and use them and obviously no one would understand me. And so um, I kind of talked about how that translated into my love for reading and writing growing up and then how that kind of became my book. And it kind of ends with like talking about how like writing is essentially a big part of who I am now. Firstly, don't take standardized testing lightly because it's a very important component of your application. Like do those practice tests, take those prep classes, use Khan Academy, Val Khan, my Lord and savior, he will save you too. And moreover, don't procrastinate the subject stats. Don't save it for December like I did. Moreover, the Common App essay. Jesus Christ. Hello darkness, my old friend. I wish, I wish I knew how important the Common App essay was. What I would recommend is that you 
go right now and look up the Common App essay prompts and like sit down, think about your life, reflect on all those experiences that are essay worthy because the Common App essay takes time. Start early and it can only go uphill from there. If I could give only one piece of advice, it would be to pursue your passions, regardless of how weird and esoteric they might seem. Because colleges aren't really looking for people who check all their boxes, because there are no boxes. They're looking for interesting and weird and funny people who you'd want to be around. People whose lives are interesting enough to form a part of their vibrant campus community. And in my opinion, it was pursuing my passions without giving too much thought to what a college might hypothetically want that really helped me throughout both within the activities and when it was time to tell my story and apply to college. In addition, I want to tell everyone to plan their process well. While I originally had a nice, well-crafted 13 college list, throughout the process, I kind of kept adding schools and adding more schools and eventually it grew to this monstrous 25 college applications that I had to finish. And because of that, I think my mental health during the process took a toll. Having a college whose environment was really conducive to the type of things that I wanted to do was extremely important. It's why I crossed some colleges off my list and found out that others were amazing fits for me. Research is definitely very, very useful in crafting your college list. And it's the most useful in finding a college that will fit you perfectly. Just remember that a lot of this process is dependent on luck. I was really lucky that I was able to get into so many good colleges, but I could easily see a scenario where that didn't happen. So make sure that you don't beat yourself up if you don't get into your dream school. My advice would be that spread out the time that you do your essays over like a month or two so that you get to fine tune it over and over again because when you do it in a week you still get most of the ascents but you don't get to fine tune it and bring it to a solid point until you keep reading it and realize where you've gone wrong um, and also make sure to keep it authentic and don't try to shape it according to what you think one school would want because you never know and um, if they're not meant to be, if like you're authentic and they don't like it, that means that you wouldn't have liked it at that college either way. That's it for this video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and it helped you and if you want to be notified for further videos and comment below if you have any questions or recommendations on what videos I should do next. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.